Welcome, dear one, to this beautiful Pleiadian crystalline activation. Please join me. Take your beautiful crystal that you wish to program with the consciousness of our beautiful galactic family, the Pleiadians, and just take a moment to take a deep breath. As you center yourself, take your beautiful crystal or stone, whatever you have that you want to align and attune with the beautiful star system, consciousness and collective of our dear Pleiadian star family. And take it between the palms of your hand and press your hands up against the breast bone and activate your heart center as you take a deep breath in with me. And in the ancient shamanic tradition of attuning our beautiful crystalline friends to the highest energies of creation, the fifth dimensional Christ consciousness with all the beautiful beings in the Galactic Federation, the star councils, our star families. Mm, and of course, there are always the beautiful ascended masters and the 12 solar archangels. And so we just raise our consciousness through centering into the divinity within our hearts, taking another relaxing, cleansing breath, and just visualizing the light of your crystal growing. Tune into it between the palms of your hand. And ask it for permission now. center and to lift your energy vibration and consciousness to a place of peace and bring clarity and just help you just relax and know that you are loved and that you are cared for by beautiful divine beings and for some of you if you are star seeds this will really help you feel like you belong that you are part of something greater that's happening here on earth. So focus on your crystal, holding it sweetly in your hand, right at your heart center. Take a deep breath in. And align your attention with what you can conceive of imagine and visualize the beautiful Pleiadian star system, the seven sisters, the various stars, but more than that, the very healing energy of our Pleiadian star cousins. And just ask that they attune to you as you attune to them and using your crystal can open up the palms of your hand with your crystal in it and hold it out and let it shine brightly. And as you breathe in a relaxed fashion, just ask 
the Palladians to send a blessing into your stone. Ask them to breathe their breath of life and light codes, the fifth, sixth, seventh dimensional codes of living light from the great star council of the Pleiadians, the collective, and the great brotherhoods and sisterhoods of light. These ancient, unbroken codes of light that they hold and disseminate to those on you in humanity that know how to tune in and invoke their presence and we do that now we invoke the healing codes of light into this beautiful crystal simply by raising it up and making it as an offering this crystal belongs to the crystal caverns the fifth dimensional crystal grids the very heart of Pachamama, Mother Earth, Terra Gaia. And we connect this earth seed, this crystal being, and its beautiful light to this light of the stars, to the light of our, our star, often called Mother Goddess in the Sun, Grandfather Sun, our solar logos, and we are connected to Alcyon as a great star that feeds our star and then our planet. And while you're feeling your head and your upper chakras activate, maybe your third eye tingle and your heart open, just accept the download of grace and light frequencies that come in. be more further activated and let arise within you no matter how vague no matter how mm, no words often an intention arises an intention that you need protection healing grace peace more knowledge knowledge that comes from the heart the higher mind, the Christ self within. And so within the sacred space, take a deep breath. Our breath is our spirit. And we let that intention drop into our breath. And we breathe three breaths sharply and quickly into the stone, programming the stone as we do so with our intention for what we need, what we ask for. Take a deep breath in, close your hands over your stone, your crystal, and place it back against your heart, pressing in now, feeling the connection with the divinity within your heart, going up the central channel into the higher chakras, up, up into the higher realms, past the psychic astral barrier, into the realms of illumined truth in the fifth dimensional quantum field of divine light, where our brothers and sisters of the stars of the Galactic Federation and all the various star families, star councils that serve this sweet earth that are helping humanity awaken, heal, transform and reconnect to our galactic heritage and originations. Let the stone be a welcome partner in that to help you connect to this high frequency energy, to the Christ level of consciousness and beyond, as well as really helping to activate and open your heart. For when we have an open heart, our body opens, our mind opens, and we are connected to the great lineages of light and the divine wisdom that which is to come through us. Allow your stone now, open your hands again, look at it, and just give thanks to all the beings that help program this. And give thanks to yourself for showing up. Now the stone, you can put it down, you can put it in your lap, 
The stone is programmed. Your breath programmed it. It doesn't need to be reprogrammed. It could be washed off, but it's protected now within the sacred space and the higher dimensions in which this programming, this process occurred. So it's protected, therefore it protects you. It's programmed, and so if you want to put it out in the um, <clears throat> elements, in the sun, in the wind, in the rain, the storms, that can be done too. But we don't have to micromanage stones that are programmed to be aligned and attuned and hold the energies of our various galactic families of light. And so I leave you now with your beautiful crystal. Enjoy it and allow it to grow with you as you grow. You can never have enough crystals and beautiful stones and realize that they have messages for you. You may want to carry it. You may want to make an altar where it sits. And it is just part of something that catalyzes energy, that amplifies energy, that generates energy, depending on the type of stone. It can balance energy. It just really depends. So as you begin to maybe gather more knowledge about how to work with crystals, you know that you have one that is programmed for a higher purpose and is here to work with you and help you to be more on purpose in your embodiment here on earth, no matter your age, no matter when you start, enjoy your crystal. Aho. Uh -huh.